So we have spent the last eight days exploring Finland, which we have been so excited because we've been able to mush huskies and go on reindeer sleigh rides and experience a proper Finnish sauna ending in an ice bath. And while this has been the perfect Christmas destination, we are super excited to head to our next country to continue our Christmas series. So they gave us sleds for our luggage. <laughs> Just so nice. It's pretty cool. Tallinn, Estonia, and this is where we are going to together celebrate Christmas as a family. We booked this apartment that's right on the square where the Christmas markets are. So you literally can walk right outside of your door and there's the Christmas market so you can see them from our windows. This is there's going to be Disney, the most magical Disney, Christmas. It's a Disney merry-go-round. I'm rather impressed. You did a pretty good job. Thanks. This is, this is pretty impressive. <gasps> you just broke it. You just broke the Airbnb. You gotta pay for it. I fixed it. <laughs> wow. Look at this view. It's about 10.30 and it's been, even though we had two very short flights, it's felt like one of our longest travel days ever. We, we lost two bags. We lost two bags uh, because we had... We'll get them tomorrow, I'm sure, but we had <laughs> such a short connection. Brady ran ahead um, to make sure they didn't leave us, um, so we made it on our flight. I saw Daddy up ahead. He, he looked like he was running for his life. <laughs> <laughs> but one of the reasons that we have tried to make this Christmas season so special is because this is our first Christmas that we do not have our own home to celebrate in. Um, so I spent a lot of time researching on the best places to go um, for a magical Christmas. Tallinn is one of the best Christmas market cities in the is, world. This is the best house because it's right in front of Christmas market. It is. Um, it's one of the best Christmas markets in the world, but I've also heard that it's not too overcrowded. So I'm so excited to experience that tomorrow. Hey girls. You wanna set up a Christmas tree? Yeah. The glittery one. We are staying right on the square where the Christmas markets are happening. And you can see them right there. out from the window. It's pretty That's magical. Up there. Today it's snowing. What more could we ask for? So this is the Tallinn Christmas tree, which I believe is like, the, this was the original town square to have a Christmas tree. I feel like I read that somewhere. Yeah. And it looks like there are notes all on the bottom of the tree and we've seen a lot of like school groups coming and, and being around the tree. We have the hunch that it's their Christmas list that they're leaving on this tree. 
Uh, Can that's I what it looks like. One? <laughs> so Tallinn seems to be this perfect blend between a beautiful medieval city as well as a very modern city. And uh, man, these streets, all these cobblestone streets, the beautiful medieval buildings around here, all decorated out for Christmas. Just the perfect Christmas destination. For lunch today, we are going to Old Hansa, and it is a, what is it, like medieval style? So it is a medieval restaurant, and we've heard that everyone's in character, so it should be a lot of fun. So they have a proper medieval menu featuring bear and elk. So it'll be interesting to see what Brady chooses. I'm thinking I'm probably going with the mushroom soup. No surprise there. It's just a mushroom soup, it's a forest mushroom soup. It is Earl's, Earl's forest mushroom soup. Got swords and spears. Hot, up, hot apple drink. This is how they brought our water in this like jug. Oh my goodness, this is amazing. I love it. Well, that is definitely a super unique experience. All of the waiters and waitresses are in character the entire time, never breaking character. And I uh, mean, the food is so good. Such unique recipes. They actually had nuts baked into the bread and uh, mixed into the rice. Uh, just very, very unique. I want to go to the fish. So Tallinn was actually voted the Christmas market of the year in all of the European Union in 2019. I definitely see why. The square is so picturesque. The, the buildings in the background, right next to the town hall, it's currently snowing. I love how they have the shops laid out and spread out a little bit. There's great variety, definitely one of the top Christmas markets and we're super thrilled to be spending our family Christmas here. hats for you yes I will buy it for you right now well yeah how much is if that? you wear it well in what circumstance do I have to wear it normal life circumstances I would wear it in like an elf costume no let's go out to dinner in it I mean you don't challenge me you know I would <laughs> I would embarrass everyone girls look at the hat we're gonna get mommy are you really gonna get that <laughs> come on <laughs> so for the record, Tallinn is super multilingual, which is awesome. It seems like everyone here speaks English, speaks Estonian, speaks Russian, um, but it does give me a little bit of a chance to practice because I'm very much out of practice. Oh, also Finnish. I've heard a lot of Finnish. Can I tell us why you speak Russian? No. Secrets for me. I later. know! <laughs> Chloe's dress sticking out. <laughs> it's more of a, you know, spring, summer, fall kind of dress, but she couldn't help herself. Yeah, she, she got it in Mart in Turkey. Yeah, we got it in Turkey. I was packing up everything and she saw the dress and she's like, can I wear that? And I was like, you can't say no to Chloe, right? <laughs> We got German sausage, sauerkraut, fried potatoes. We also got this um, Estonian mustard, which I was told to try out. It is like super concentrated, uh, so very potent. That's like it's a spicy mustard. One one tiny drop. It's like super concentrated spicy mustard. It's very good, but we do not need much at all. Make sure I don't get these two confused. <laughs> we have a hot glogi, which is like a hot mold. Mold is mold hot? Is that what that means? I have no idea. It's like a hot wine, and then this is just like a juice. In the uh, glogi, I put in what looked like some nuts, and then an orange peel slice. That's apparently how you're supposed to do it. And then I think you let it soak in. It flavors the drink, and then at the end you have a little nice snack. Ooh, that's good. Is it? Yeah, I was afraid I wouldn't like it because 
I like, I'm not a big fan of wine. I like sweet wine. Um, but it has like a Christmassy, it's like warm Christmas wine. I like it, it's good. Is that good? Not alcoholic, that one's just a, a hot juice. So this has been one of our favorite little treats here at the Christmas markets. And they are waffles and you can choose to have chocolate syrup or caramel on them. We've actually also oh, had damn. the like, I don't know if it's like a cranberry sauce. It's not meant for the waffles, but that's me and Brady's favorite is when you plop that on the waffle. But today we got chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> Is that too big of a bite? <laughs> Do you love it, Chloe? <laughs> I feel like how normal people feel looking at the world. Tall. Tall. <laughs> It's for kids, but I can hardly reach the table without it. <laughs> I love that. I love the wise men, too. How many fingers have I Zero. Zero. I think we found, this is a castle. Is that right? Our castle walls. The walls of the city so this is cool they're pretty creepy aren't they <laughs> they kind of look like um the ghost of the future from um the, yeah. a christmas carol yeah super creepy so we're at these castle walls. You can pay a small, I think it's like a two year entrance fee to climb up into the walls, have a beautiful look, a beautiful view over Tallinn. Right now the sun is setting. Whoa. So we've come up to the tower wall, um, which is a beautiful view overlooking Tallinn. Uh, it's got a cool museum and four towers to explore through. Uh, I don't know, it's just a fun bit of medieval history overlooking the beautiful town of Tallinn. Let me look. There's people ice skating over there. There's an ice skating rink? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Oh. Alexa. Love you. Huh? Merry Christmas. Oh. <laughs> Merry Christmas. This is from Chloe. Oh, It's so cute. I love it. I didn't help her at all. She picked it out all on her own. Who wants to go next? Me. Oh, okay. All right, Alexa, get yours. Do you want me to read the note to you? Yeah. It says, hi, Merry Christmas. Chloe, I love you. I really do love you. Oh, that's very sweet of you, Alexa. Now very open sweet. it. Okay. <gasps> that's what I wanted! Aww. You guys are so cute. Why do you like giving presents so much? Because uh, I'm a little elf. You're a little <laughs> elf. Whoa! Thank you, buddy. You're welcome. Can I open it and play with it now? <laughs> it's a fire starter. Let me show you. You're gonna start a fire! Oh my god! Can you make your kindling? No. No kindling. No, no kindling. No. <laughs> no, 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 Daddy, no. Don't make a fire okay. in the house. It's okay, kiddos. No. Don't. You make your kindling and then you strike it. Pretty. Oh, she's so pretty. Do you want me to put it in? Oh, let me get her wings out. Okay. Oh. Mm -hmm. And she looks like Mimi. She but, does look like but Mimi. But she's different. I think I know what it is. Yes! I knew it! The snowboat that I saw. 
You're my favorite Mrs. Claus. <laughs> Love Alexa. Aww. Thank you. It's the best. You said I hope you get this. <laughs> it's a nativity scene. I can't hold the secret anymore. Can't hold, can't hold it in anymore. What is it, Chloe? Don't tell him. She's holding her mouth shut. Chloe, Chloe, is it hard to keep Christmas secrets? <laughs> <laughs> Woohoo! I yeah. told you gonna so like cute. it. So cute. I was going to give you the chef one. I feel like we're definitely on a theme here. <laughs> they, all of these came from the same little shop. <laughs> We got a whole village set up over here. <laughs> three kings with the three gnomes. Yes. How many times did we go back to the same shop? <laughs> the lady really liked us. I think we made her Christmas this year. <laughs> So with a view like this, it can be a little hard to want to keep your windows closed. This has been our little editing bay. The way you can keep the beautiful views while also getting some work done. What are you doing, Chloe? Stealing cards from Emily. Tell me what happened last night. What, what's Emily doing? Emily was playing Toy Story Uno while we were asleep. This morning we woke up to Emily and all of her new friends playing a little round of Uno. Naughty Emily. We want to play cards too. Chloe? Yes? I have a question. What? Do you like packing your bag every couple of days? Yes. And mommy doesn't want to let me. Oh, does mommy have to repack sometimes? Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe as we have one final video in our Christmas series. And we also kick off our new series in Romania. Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> Ha 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 ha!